on Saturday the 11th of February 1922, at around 5.15pm, a gun battle raged in Clonus Railway Station, County Monaghan. Fifteen minutes later, Commandant Matt Fitzpatrick, a hero of the War of Independence in Monaghan and leader of the 5th Northern Battalion of the IRA, lay dead between the railway lines, along with four members of the Ulster Special Constabulary, killed in the carriages of the train in which they had been travelling from Newton Arts to Enniskillen. The incident, which became known as the Clonus Affray, sent shock waves throughout Ireland and Britain threatening relationships between the newly established Irish Free State and Northern Ireland and giving rise to increased sectarian tensions throughout the province of Ulster. Many years later, a Monaghan IRA member, John McGonnell, told his story of that fateful I was armed with a Thompson submachine gun and had a hundred rounds of ammunition in the magazine. I saw the three compartments of the train directly in front of where I was standing were filled with specials or policemen. Just after the first shot was fired and when Commandant Fitzpatrick disappeared from my view, a terrific fire was opened up by the police in the carriage. All the windows in the station were broken. I opened fire in the three compartments opposite me with a machine gun. I continued firing until all the movement in these carriages had ceased, which proved to me that all the occupants were either killed or severely wounded. I looked around and saw the arm of a policeman with a sergeant's stripes on it. He stretched out in the act of opening the carriage door from the inside. The sergeant emerged from the carriage and proceeded towards the exit from the station leading towards the town. I put up my gun and gave him a burst of its fire and finished up. I then examined the machine gun and found the magazine was empty. An engine was being backed up towards the stationary train and being propped onto it. I got onto its footplate and I ordered the driver to unhook from the stationary train and to take his engine away towards the railway gates. I got off the engine, went down the main street. I then contacted Jim O'Donoghue and told him all that I knew to have occurred. He and I then proceeded to the station entrance. We both shouted in a loud voice, Come out with your hands up and there'll be no more shooting! Two policemen dismounted onto the platform with their hands up and they were taken prisoner. All the other police, with the exception of one man who escaped, were either dead or so badly wounded that they were serious hospital cases. We carried out a search for Commandant Fitzpatrick and found him dead lying between two carriages in the railway line. He was shot through the head. Death must have been instantaneous. Thank you.